Hi everyone and welcome. As you can see behind me, I kind of have a thing for yarn and I, I use it a lot, um, although my stash probably goes, grows more quickly than the projects I complete. <laughs> uh, I learned how to crochet in about 1974 and that, so I used some of it for that and then I learned how to knit in about 2014. I thought my next big thing would be spinning to, you know, add to my stash. But it turns out that my next thing to learn was weaving. This is my very first project. It's a DK weight alpaca yarn in a plain weave, two colors. And uh, oh my gosh, I had so much fun. This is so soft and light and and delicious. Anyway, so I immediately <laughs> bought a loom, a Cricut Rigid Heddle, okay, and I, I uh, undertook a second project which was a study in color and um, also in how colors interact because it's so much different in weaving than it is in knitting or crochet. And I can't show you that project here in the video because my dear friend Callie absconded with the results of that experiment. Um, it turned out pretty good. I learned a lot. I learned how to keep a better salvage uh, edge. A salvage, which is edge, that was redundant. Um, and I learned how colors interact a little bit. That's going to be an ongoing process for me. I've never been color confident, so I'll keep learning. Um, but it turned out really well. It was silk wool and then um, also some some fingering weight Shetland and also some tuchel wool and I don't something else. So I learned a little bit how fibers interact too. That was very exciting. I'll tell a little bit more about that exciting project in the blog post below. But my next project I decided well I will do something that I can piece together and make some sort of a poncho. So here's my third attempt. And one of the things that I was practicing here, aside from the ongoing color, was learning how to do a hem stitch. And I think that turned out pretty okay. There's the front and the back, well, one side and the other side, okay. And uh, this was using a wool cotton blend. So that was interesting. That was something more to learn. My salvage is not too bad. I think this side is better. I doubled up. Um, I think this is the side I'm going to hem. So I put two warp threads there. We'll see. It's getting better. All right. That yarn was this. This is what it looks like in... So you can see a lot of difference. I mean, not a lot, but you know, it, it does. It behaves in unique and strange and exciting ways. All right, so that was my second project and I'm only part of the way through that. This is the warp. It's not gonna look the same. I'm experimenting still. So this half of the poncho will, I'll do some pattern and I'm not sure what. We shall see, it remains to be seen. It's all experimental, I have to experiment. In the interim, while I'm, you know, figuring that pattern out and drawing it up and learning some, some uh, software to design weavings, I got a little, tapestry loom so I could do samples uh, to see what sort of, you know, to practice more with how the fibers interact and the colors look together and so on. So I got a bunch of yarn. This is all alpaca. It's the same that I made my first scarf out of. And I'm going to do a bunch of um, gifts for folks in different ways. So here is how some of that is looking. As you can see, I 
warped with the three different colors and then and then I wefted with it. Does wefted work? Warped and wefted. Sure, why not? Um, with the three different colors as well to see how they interact. It's a little hard to see because there we go. Anyway, I'm liking all of them. So I'll figure something out. Knitting goes pretty quickly. So, I mean, excuse me, knitting does not go quickly. No, I'm very slow, painfully slow knitter. Um, weaving goes pretty quickly. I can do um, like this. I did about 15 inches an hour and it's 50 inches. So not bad, not including actually warping the loom. <laughs> Um, which means I can use up some of my stash and buy more. I can have a rap, more rapid turnover of my stash pile. Anyway, like I said, I'm really excited about this new endeavor. I do have plans for spinning still, um, and we'll see how that goes. But in the interim, I'll be weaving, and I already have ideas in head for tapestry weaving as well. This could be what amounts to an obsession. But I'm an obsessive person, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. I will chat with you later. Thanks. Bye.